Okay guys, four clicks and we can get websites that produce results like this. Now this one is just a few weeks old, it's a test site. So this is not even finished doing what it's going to be um, capable of doing in the near future. Okay, so it's been up about five or six weeks and basically I put this site together with four clicks and you can see here if I go into the SEM rush um, keywords that we're ranking for that we're ranking for 3650 keywords okay now if I sort this out by the cost per click you can see we got some cost per click about seven dollars seventy six five sixty five four twenty eight etc etc down here we got one thousand six hundred search volume for that keyword seven hundred and twenty search volume for that keyword um, this one here is two dollars forty five the one that we've got one thousand six hundred searches for okay um, the thing is look at the keywords that we're ranking for these keywords are business names and look at the search volumes of some of these keywords with the business names 1600 1000 1000 1000 1000 searches per month 880 880 720 okay that's a little bit different from what you would expect and it's bringing in traffic in the um, analytics we're seeing between 3,000 and 5,000 unique traffic um, every single month into this site coming from two different sources um, depending on which one you want to um, believe is correct so I'll put in a third analytics um, with Google site kit so that we can really find out what the traffic is but say it's minimum 3,000 visitors per month for a site that took four clicks then this is something very 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 interesting because if it only takes four clicks then how many times would you like to do those four clicks and deploy as many sites as you can let me show you how it's done okay and it's very very easy it's very very simple and it's very very powerful okay so let's come over here and you will see I have an expired domain here if I type in the URL at the top up here there isn't any site but I have a, I have bought it in Namecheap okay and when we scroll down here on the left side you can see that it's a four years old domain uh, you can see as well that we've got three three thousand two hundred links coming into the home page from those two thousand or do follow links and from that there's three hundred and eighty eight referring domains now the strange thing is that even though this one here has a spam score of 5 out of 18 okay it doesn't affect it I've actually got one up that we put up last week with a spam score of, of 10 and it's ranking already for hundreds of keywords okay and it's very very quick and very easy to go and find even spam freedom um, domains with like 60, 70, 80, 90,000 backlinks that are very very niche specific and I'll show you where you can find them within seconds literally within seconds it's all part of the training that comes with this system okay so this system and this plugin that we're going to use is a combination of a tool called WordPress Alpha that we have built that deploys pre-configured sites so you can see I just configured and deployed a site earlier today now I'm going to do another one and all I'm going to do over here is come into the hosts because I've already set up some hosts and I'm going to set up a brand new site and we're going to do it in four clicks okay so it's going to deploy tens of thousands of pages in those four clicks okay so all I need to do is click here to add a site and I'm going to choose this domain name here now you can see let's just take it from up here copy from over here take off the HTTP and I'll take off that forward slash okay now you can see here this would be the time to choose whether we want to use a www or not okay and then I'm going to choose from the drop down we have drop down menu for generic blogs local biz alpha um, template autoblog alpha template which is like autoblogs for news sites this one here expired domain alpha you can rebuild expired domains etc and this one launch jacking is for if you want to do review sites for affiliate products okay so what we're doing with this is we're going to do um, local biz alpha 
Okay, so we come in here, we're going to click on launch a site, that's the click number one. Okay, remember I said four clicks. Okay, and you can see that spinning around. So I'm going to pause while that is spinning because it's it's installing WordPress on a brand new server and it's going to put the pre-configured template. That pre-configured template has been optimized for the plugins inside. Okay, so it's not just a bunch of plugins that we install and tell you these are good plugins to start your site off with. Okay, we've actually done the configuration for the all-in-one SEO, for schema plugins, for um, the page speed. We got a, brought in a specialist to work on a template to make the page speed not more than one second. Uh, we got for GDPR, for security, all different kinds of stuff is being put into that template. And for the most part, the, the plugins are actually configured. So all you need to do is put in some customization for your domain. So you need to put in your site, title, and description, and a little bit of other customizations. Okay, so I'll pause this while it's still working. You can see it's been spinning for about a minute, and it will continue to spin for probably another minute or so, and then the site will be ready. Then we need to do the second click, which is going to be enabling the DNS all within WordPress Alpha. Okay, and that has now deployed the website into the server. Okay, so what we'll do now, uh, next is come into the DNS settings, and here, if you set up the API keys, we will have four in here. We will have DNS for GoDaddy or Namecheap, Cloudflare, and Digital Ocean. Okay, so what I'm going to choose here is for Namecheap. Now, I usually would do Cloudflare for these kind of sites, but for the purpose of demonstration in this video, I'm going to choose Namecheap, and I'll just click on Submit. Okay. The DNS records have been successfully add it to your Namecheap account. And, and it says it can take up to a few hours for propagation, but we've seen this before, so we need to wait. It usually takes just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video, I will come back. That's two clicks that we have done. When we come back, we're going to log into the, the WP admin of that site once it is propagated, once the site is live online. Okay, we'll log into WP Admin, and then we're going to make a third click, which will enable the HTTPS. We'll put some um, SSL certificate onto the site. One click, we enable the uh, HTTPS, and then the fourth click is going to be the Local Biz Alpha campaign, where we are going to um, click a button that will deploy tens of thousands of optimized pages. Not one bit of spin tax needed. Okay, we're using content that we get from Google API. So we're buying the content from Google. Google likes the content. Google ranks the content. Google likes to send you traffic for that content. And all your problems really are centered around how do we convert, how do we monetize? Because we know that we can get rankings, we can get traffic. It's all about how do we do the conversions with these kind of sites, which niches, um, needs what kind of offers is it cost per lead is it cost per call um, or paper call is it adsense is it a combination of those all those different things we answer and we discuss um, within the membership area as well and as some webinars that we have done and we will continue to do okay so i'm going to pause and come back when this has been propagated so that we can take the third and fourth click and we can deploy this site properly. Okay, so our website is live online, and what we can do now is we can go into the dashboard and make sure that we don't have any plugins, any themes to get updated. Now, one thing I like to do as well is go into the settings and go into the permalinks. Uh, because we're using a template that is pre-configured, um, we do have things already set up, but just to make sure with the permalinks, um, I like to just save the changes one more time uh, just to make sure that when we deploy the campaigns that we have got this permalinks the way that we want them to be, okay? So when we come into any of the other plugins that you can see in here, most of the configurations are, are already done, but I don't want to get into those right now. What I do want to do right now is deploy the third 
um, click which is going to put the SSL certificate and give us an HTTPS you can see at the top here it says not secure we're going to fix that we're going to make it secure so up here we can see a little green padlock thing okay and all I need to do for that is come into WordPress Alpha okay and I'll click on enable HTTPS okay it says now HTTPS is enabled and so if we go over to the site now we can see that we have got the little padlock here so that has been done successfully and in three clicks we have deployed the site into the server um, the site being pre-configured with some plugins etc with the pre-configurations done site speed is optimized all we need to do is some basic site customization like site title etc now I'll cover that in a separate video what I want to do now is the fourth click okay this is the important one because this is where we can go and deploy tens of thousands of optimized local business directory pages we won't need any spin tax whatsoever okay it's created in a format that Google likes that Google likes to give you rankings for and send you traffic for we are getting that content coming from Google we're actually buying the content from the Google API okay and we're putting that content into the site in a format that Google really does rank okay so that's where we are now let's go and do that fourth click and I'll show you how to set up a campaign it literally takes less than 60 seconds alright guys so we have got the campaign pretty much set up here I've already done it ahead of time to save some time okay what we do is we put a name of the campaign and we put the what that is a business type it's going to be in here as well usually I do both of these the same I'll show you why after we have deployed the campaign okay locations you can put unlimited locations here make sure you put a city name and a state abbreviation or a, a city name and a state full name like New York New York Buffalo New York etc um, if you're doing it city wide instead of state wide then you need to get all the locations within the city that you want to work with okay and then you're gonna have that particular area with the gap and then the city name right so we have the locations and um, we can choose up to 60 businesses per location to show if there are 60 businesses it will pull in 60 here okay post type personal preference page or post I prefer post category I've chosen here and settings all outbound links no follow and add a link into the parent page so every location page has a list of businesses that link has links from those businesses on that parent page that links into the actual individual business page okay so we got a list of business pages in one page which we call the location page or the parent page on that location page that each business listed which can be up to 60 has a link going to its own individual page on that on on its own individual page there's an image there's a map there's a telephone number website address opening hours address that kind of thing reviews are in the comments um, section and we can have from there a link going back into the parent page with a do follow link okay so that's all that is and all we have to do now is click on the button for submit okay and that is it okay that's the fourth click and that pretty much is it okay all you need to do if you want to be really lazy is just go and set for your customization for the domain just for the very very basics like site title and stuff like that okay so you can see it's deployed the campaign now what it's doing it makes the first three posts immediately and then it will go and do five posts per minute approximately okay five posts per minute and it will continue to do these posts you can see here the number of listings waiting to be processed is 180 okay the next time that we do a refresh if I waited like five minutes it's going to probably show about 1800 here okay okay so we refreshed the page again so we can actually go and start to look at some of these pages and see what it looks like so that you know exactly what we are building so you've noticed that we've got now seven businesses created okay that's after about one minute we'll, we'll re refresh this one more time uh, before this video finishes let's go and have a look at some of these then and you can see it's pulled in the image from the Google API Okay, it's got the business name, address, has the telephone number, has the website, 
has got an interactive map and when you come down the bottom here you can see the reviews are in the comment section okay this is all we need okay this is all we need Google loves this content okay it loves the way we have done the content the way we have structured this let's have a look at one more again the image pulled in from the Google API okay we've got the comments we've got the interactive map we've got the, all that stuff in here um, let's have a look one more time this one here image come from the business page and we've got the website telephone number what we're doing here is very very useful content okay so this useful content that we buy from Google using the API will help us to maintain our rankings because it's not just some landing page that's spun a thousand ways and a lot of spin text we don't use spin text okay this is next level stuff guys absolutely next level stuff okay and what we're doing is we're ranking for the business names the brand names and we can take this further as well by doing some additional SEO stuff just to nudge from page three into page two into page one etc but it will get there eventually itself anyway it will just keep getting stronger and stronger but we can use things like Viditac Alpha just to nudge it you can put in all of these keywords that you find your ranking for and just like Viditac Alpha and run doing doing campaigns okay and it will work you will just nudge yourself into page one um, a lot quicker and increase your traffic quicker all that kind of stuff the strategy stuff how to monetize um, testing cost and um, paper paper lead and paper call and AdSense and all that kind of stuff we will cover in additional webinars in the member area now we have already done um, a local traffic ripping course 10 videos in there which basically goes through how we can monetize how we can set up how we can do all that kind of stuff we did a series of five webinars that we just finished yesterday okay we did Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday one webinar every day and we covered different aspects of using local traffic ripping system with local biz alpha and with WordPress alpha okay um, but we will continue to do that and we will um, you know get a lot of case studies and success stories as well we've already got a couple came in yesterday uh, from people who have been using the system who are getting traffic okay not just rankings rankings is great sexy and everything but we do SEO to get traffic okay this gets traffic gets targeted traffic extremely targeted high value traffic okay so anyway that's it um, this is not inexpensive it shouldn't be inexpensive it needs to be exclusive it will never be in a sort of JV zoo kind of a launch and you know the automation we're taking even further again um, with what we can do within the web application itself so that we can do a lot more of the settings a lot more of the automation from inside a web application and that can um, basically be sent through into these sites so that we can do like a million pages in one click right now we can do, do tens of thousands of pages in one click next we want to be able to do millions of pages in one click and that is coming soon okay so get in now well you can I don't have it open very often I open it when we're doing some promotions for um, some colleagues affiliates etc um, and then I tend to close it again for several weeks or months and if I do open it again then it's going to be a lot higher price again because we've done more automation etc so grab it now while you can guys well the offer is still there thanks bye